Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss the questions from J Main 2024 entrance examinations. These questions are from the topic concentration terms, that is from the chapter solutions. Question number 1. Only 2 ml of K104 solution of unknown molarity is required to reach the end point of a titration of 20 ml of oxalic acid in bracket 2 molar in acidic medium. The molarity of K104 solution should be dash M. Listen please, in this question, we are titrating an oxalic acid solution using K104 in acidic medium. We need to find out the molarity of K104 solution. We know in acidic medium, K104 is converted into Mn2+. In K104, oxidation number of manganese is plus 7. And in Mn2+, it is plus 2. So, change in oxidation number in acidic medium of K104 is equal to 5. Similarly, for oxalic acid, the change in oxidation number is 2. Because oxalic acid molecule contains 2 carbon atoms, oxidation number of 2 carbon atoms in oxalic acid molecule is equal to plus 6. In carbon dioxide, oxidation number of 1 carbon atom is equal to plus 4. So, 2 carbon atoms is equal to plus 8. Therefore, change in oxidation number of 1 molecule oxalic acid in acidic medium is equal to 2. It is given that volume of KMnO4 solution required for the titration that is B1 is equal to 2 ml. Normality of KMnO4 solution that is N1 is equal to its molarity capital M into X where X is the change in oxidation number or N factor. Here for KMnO4 the change in oxidation number is 5 therefore its normality N1 is equal to molarity capital M into 5. Here we need to find out the molarity of KMnO4 solution, capital M. The OM of oxalic acid solution used for the titration is given, that is V2 is equal to 20 ml. Normality of oxalic acid solution, N2 is equal to its molarity into X, molarity is equal to 2 and the change in oxidation number X is equal to 2, therefore normality N2 is equal to 4. We know for a titration reaction the equation is V1 N1 is equal to V2 N2. Here V1 is 2 ml, N1 is capital M into 5, V2 is 20 ml and N2 is 4. Then substituting these values, the molarity of KMnO4 solution capital M can be calculated. It is equal to 8 molar. So here the answer is 8. Next question number 2. This is a multiple choice question. The question is, the density of X molar solution of NaOH is 1.12 gram per milliliter. While in molality, the concentration of the solution is 3 molal. Then X is dash. Given molecular mass of NaOH is 40 gram per mole. Option number 1 is 3.5. Option number 2 is 3. Option number 3 is 3.8. And option number 4 is 2.8. In this question, Molality and the density of an NaOH solution are given. We need to calculate molarity of the solution. The density of NaOH solution small d is equal to 1.12 gram per milliliter. Molarity of solution small m is equal to 3 molar. We know the relationship between density of solution, molarity and the molality as density of solution d is equal to molarity capital M into 1 by molarity small m plus molecular mass of solute Mb divided by 1000. Molarity of NaOH solution is taken as X. Density of the solution is given as small d is equal to 1.12 gram per milliliter and molarity of NaOH solution is equal to 3 molar. Substituting the values of density, molarity and the molecular mass of solute, molarity of the solution can be calculated which is equal to 3.2 molar, approximately equal to 3. So here the answer is option number 2. Next question number 3. Molality of an aqueous solution of urea is 4.44 molar. Mole fraction of urea in solution is x into 10 raised to minus 3. Then the value of x is dash in bracket integer answer. Here molality of urea solution is given which is 4.44 molar. And mole fraction of urea in solution is equal to x into 10 raised to minus 3. We need to find out the value of x. We know the relationship between molality and mole fraction of solute which is mole fraction of solute chi b is equal to molality divided by molality plus 1000 divided by molecular mass of solvent ma. 
Here molecular mass of solvent is equal to 18 because solvent is water. Then substituting the values of molality and molecular mass of solvent, the mole fraction of solute chi B can be calculated. It is equal to 74 into 10 raised to minus 3. So here the value of X is equal to 74, which is the answer. Then question number 4. A solution is prepared by adding 1 mole of ethyl alcohol in 9 mole of water. The mass percentage of solute in the solution is dash in bracket integer answer. Given the molecular mass of ethyl alcohol is 46 and that of water is 18 gram per mole. In this question we are mixing 1 mole of ethyl alcohol and 9 moles of water. We want to calculate the mass percentage of ethyl alcohol in solution. First of all we can calculate the mass of ethyl alcohol and water present in the solution. Number of moles of ethyl alcohol is given that is equal to 1 mole. Therefore, its mass is equal to number of moles 1 into its molecular mass of 46 that is equal to 46 gram. Number of moles of water is equal to 9 moles. Therefore, its mass is equal to number of moles 9 moles into molecular mass 18 that is equal to 162. Then mass percentage of ethyl alcohol in the solution is equal to mass of ethyl alcohol that is 46 divided by mass of solution that is mass of solute plus solvent. Mass of solute is 46 and the solvent is 162 that is equal to 22.11 which is approximately equal to 22. So here the answer is 22. Next question number 5. The molarity of an aqueous solution containing X gram of an anhydrous copper sulfate in 500 ml solution at 32 degree centigrade is 2 into 10 raised to minus 1 molar. Its molarity will be dash into 10 raised to minus 3 in bracket nearest integer given density of the solution is equal to 1.25 gram per ml. The molarity of copper sulfate solution is given that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 1 molar. Density of solution small d is equal to 1.25 gram per ml. We want to calculate molality of copper sulfate solution. The relationship between density of solution, molarity and molality is density small d is equal to molarity into 1 by molality plus molecular mass of solute divided by 1000. Then substituting the values of density, molarity and molecular mass of solute, the molarity of solution can be calculated which is equal to 164 into 10 raised to minus 3. So here the answer is 164. Then question number 6. Molality of 0.8 molar sulfuric acid solution in bracket density is equal to 1.06 gram per cc is dash into 10 raised to minus 3 m. This question is similar to question number 5. That is molarity and density solution are given. Then calculate its molality. The molarity of H2SO4 solution is given as 0.8 molar. Density solution small d is equal to 1.06 gram per ml. We know the equation density small d is equal to molarity into 1 by molality plus molecular mass of solute divided by 1000. Here molecular mass of solute is 98. Then substituting the values, the molarity of the solution is found to be 815 into 10 raised to minus 3 molar. So here the answer is 815. Then question number 7. If 50 ml of 0.5 molar oxalic acid is required to neutralize 25 ml of NaOH solution, the amount of NaOH in 50 ml of given NaOH solution is dash gram. In this question, an oxalic acid solution is titrated using sodium hydroxide solution. We want to calculate the amount of NaOH present in 50 ml of NaOH solution. The volume of oxalic acid required for the neutralization that is B1 is given that is equal to 50 ml. Molarity of oxalic acid solution is given that is equal to 0.5 molar. Then normality of oxalic acid solution is equal to its molarity into basicity. Molarity is 0.5 and the basicity of oxalic acid is 2 that is equal to 1 normal. Then volume of NaOs used for neutralization B2 is given that is equal to 20 ml. The normality of NaOH solution can be calculated from the equation V1N1 is equal to V2N2. The normality of NaOH solution N2 is equal to 2 normal. Then the equation for calculating normality is weight of solute into 1000 divided by equivalent mass of solute into volume in ml. Then substituting normality, equivalent mass and volume of the solution, weight of solute WB can be calculated that is equal to 4 gram. So here the answer is 4. Next question number 8. 
the molarity of 1 liter of orthophosphoric acid that is H3PO4 having 70% purity by weight in bracket specific gravity is 1.54 gram per cc is dash molar given molecular mass of H3PO4 is equal to 98 gram per mole. Here the percentage by mass and the specific gravity solution that is density are given. We want to calculate the molarity of the solution. That is percentage by mass small x is equal to 70 percentage. Specific gravity of the solution that is density d is equal to 1.54 gram per ml. We know the equation molarity into molecular mass of solute is equal to 10 into d into x. Then substituting the values the molarity is found to be 11 molar. So the answer is 11.